Alrighty guys, Mori back here with something a little different on the channel. So, over the next week or two here, I'm going to be recording some ARC videos and posting up on my channel. And uh, so we're going to be starting off with some mod review videos. So, what we're going to be reviewing today is the Confucius Ornus, which is this little bird right here. And it does come in four different variants, three of which are tameable. And here is the normal one that spawns on, I guess, just the regular maps like Scorched Earth and all that. And then you got the Aberrant one right here. Which, yeah, it, it does, I believe. It, yeah, I see. It is a little bioluminescent right there on the wing. It's kind of hard to see because it, it's day out right now. Then you do got an X variant of the Confucius Lornus, which it adds in some stripes and little polka dots on it. Not polka dots, little circles. And then there is a corrupted one, which this one is untamable. It basically does what any other corrupted creature does and just attack you on sight. So just I figured I'd throw it in so that way you guys got a good look at it here. It is a gorgeous creature. This one is definitely glowing a lot brighter. It it, it does look a little derpy and dumb, but that what do you expect? It's a bird. And this mod does come with its own chibi of it. So, that is nice. So, what the Confucius Ornus does is that it, in the wild, it will spawn with this tree, and six of them can spawn with a tree, and over time it will get more of these nests in it. And I'm guessing with the more nests there is, the more birds that are around it. These ones spawned in. I didn't even expect to get a tree to spawn in, but luckily these spawned in are spawning those to tame. So... In the wild, the Confucius Ornus is a neutral creature. And if you go up to its nest and access it or damage it or attack it, just like a beaver, it will come and attack you. So, in the wild, they will actually naturally over time, these nests will naturally over time generate some eggs. Alrighty. And, sorry, I need some eggs for later. <laughs> and, uh... They'll generate eggs over time, and these are useful because, say, you're early game and you want to make some kibble. So that way, maybe taming a creature you really want is easier. You can go asset access these nests, and what, from what I've noticed, they will collect eggs from wild creatures around them, even modded creatures that lay eggs. So, yeah, that is a big thumbs up for me. And the way that you tame the Confucius Hornus here is you will have to wait for it to perch on one of these tree branches so it will land there. And when it's landed there, it will be looking for fertilized eggs which the player has dropped. And the higher quality the egg, the faster the taming efficiency, alrighty? And once you have it tamed, the Confucius Hornus, you can craft a nest in its inventory just over here. And once you craft the nest, you can place it down like so. And something I found awesome, which also signifies that, yeah, this nest is assigned to a certain one of them, is the feathers. So as you can see here, we got the green and brown, which came from the normal Confucius War nest. Then over here in this other nest, we got the black and purple, which came from the corrupted Confucius. And what you can do with the Confucius and this nest is you can have them go and collect eggs that your creatures drop by just simply, this is why I needed the eggs, don't pay attention to any of that stuff over there. So you can drop those eggs and you can set them to go, go collect them through this toggle menu here. So what you can do is hit enable storage nest storage so the Confucius will take the egg to the storage alrighty and once you enable this and I go out are you going to yep see it will go collect the egg and it will take it back to its nest and that is pretty awesome right the best thing about this as well is that you can have it do a lot of things so Basically, this thing is a breeder's best friend, so you can have it set to go collect fertilized eggs. It can actually locate eggs if you have it up on your shoulder like that. 
and it can even hatch eggs and claim the baby for you. Alrighty. And baby care, I'm guessing, is it will go and feed it. And uh, you can even enable imprinting on it. So that, whoo, that is nice. You can set these things up to automatically go and basically take care of a baby for you. And uh, the way that it works on the imprinting is that you have to have, you still have to have the food for it. So if a, say a baby Rex wants some cooked prime meat, you got to have cooked prime meat in the Confucius's inventory for it to feed it to that baby for it to imprint, just like kibble or anything else. So, yeah, the Confucius Ornus is basically <laughs> the breeder's best friend. I will highly recommend this mod if you want to automate egg collecting and even hatching and imprinting, which to me is awesome because being a solo player on here, I don't feel like I have a lot of time just to sit at my base and constantly take care of babies and hatch eggs and imprint constantly. Alrighty. That, that was just a little bit tedious for me, especially as a solo player. So with the Confucius Ornus here, it adds in basically just an automated system. They may look a little derpy, but they are one hell of a bird. So I will highly recommend this mod to anyone. And, well, that's it for this video. Just short, simple, seven minute long video. Quick review on a single creature from a mod that I highly recommend. So this has been Moray. You know the drill. On the left, that is my most recent posted video. And on the right, that is what YouTube is recommended for you. And right smack dab there in the middle is a link straight to my channel. So if you want to go look for other mo my older videos and other mod reviews, head there. And I got a surprise for you guys tomorrow. So stay tuned.